CataractCoach.com, learning vertical chop, including a slow motion analysis. This really is easier than you think. I'm going to teach anyone to learn this technique. So watch it in real time, buzzing in, and we can split the nucleus just like that. It looks so easy. And because it is, as long as you have a good instrument, you can use this chopper that I'm showing you here, but almost any chopper will do, except the ones that have that round ball on the tip, which I think you'll find very ineffective. And you need to have a lens nucleus that has sufficient density. If the lens nucleus is butter soft, it's going to be difficult to achieve this. You need some density, 3 plus NS. Chopper going around it now, you can just sub-chop the pieces. You really make short work of the nucleus. As you'll see in this video here in real time, you can certainly remove this nucleus from the eye in less than 60 seconds. With a bare minimum amount of phaco power and actually very little fluid going through the eye. You can remove cataracts with 25 cc's of fluid. And that's very gentle to the eye, minimally traumatic. There we go, nucleus is done. So again, the technique is to buzz in and hold the nucleus with the phaco probe. And then still within the confines of the rexus, we're going to place the chopper. So let's go at one third speed here. It's the same case, I'm just gonna show you in slow motion. So look where the chopper and phaco probe go. The probe is sub-incisional, not in the center of the nucleus. The chopper goes inside the nasal rexus they're dug in deep, brought together, and pushed apart. And then a little extra effort right here is being done to propagate that chop all the way through. Now buzzing again, chopper goes again into the nucleus, and the instruments are brought apart. So there are natural cleavage planes that are created. Now that first small quadrant, can, we can buzz in with the phaco probe and bring it up and get it out of the capsule bag and emulsify it. So there's that first quadrant that we've chopped be brought up using the chopper just to keep it pushed in front of the phaco probe again be careful you don't want to have the nuclear pieces that you're trying to emulsify under your probe you want them in front of the phaco tip and that becomes relatively easy to remove what are the settings here you need to have sufficiently high vacuum so with this phaco tip you're looking at at least 400 millimeters of mercury vacuum i like a sufficiently fast flow rate of 40 cc's a minute so things happen faster you can use a lower flow rate, but the vacuum is what you need for holding power of the nucleus. So now the remainder of the first hemi-nucleus is brought to the Irish plane and then just emulsified. So now there's just the one remaining hemi-nucleus in the capture bag. That looks great. Buzz into the remaining hemi-nucleus, bring it forwards, and now you can place the chopper around the equator, bring the two instruments together, and then push them apart and that will separate the two pieces. And now we have a small quadrant that's been broken off and we can emulsify that. And then the remaining quadrants deeper in the capsule bag, and that will naturally just flow towards the tip of the phaco probe after, and then we'll emulsify it as well. If we want to, we can further subchop it, or we can just use the probe to emulsify it. Again, keeping the probe in the center of the eye, and then using the chopper to push the pieces centrally. So the key in a vertical chop is both instruments are inside the capsular axis. You don't have to place the chopper around the lens equator. The phaco probe is just inside the temporal sub-incisional area, so just inside that edge of the axis, aiming the probe deep towards the optic nerve. The chopper goes in just inside the nasal capsular axis, and then it's dug in relatively deep in the deep part of the nucleus, the instruments are then slightly brought together and then just pulled apart. And that'll create that cleavage plane, which you then propagate and complete through the entire nucleus. And there you go, complete nucleus removal. We could fast forward here to the end of the case and you could see it looks great. Lens in the bag, everything went beautifully. So I encourage you, give this a shot. You can certainly learn how to do it. You can see on cataractcoach.com, there'll be a listing under About Dr. Devgan. You can see which are the exact instruments I use. But keep in mind, it's the surgeon and not the instrument. So you can use any instrument you wish. Thanks for watching.